Cheers. Hi, I'm Anthony Weinkoff, co-founder of Embrace Tutoring Educational Services, and welcome to Embrace Tutoring TV, the official YouTube channel for all things related to test prep, academics, and the college admission process. Today, we will be discussing the best tips and strategies for mastering the ACT science section. Master tip number one, focus on the data and information presented to you in the passage rather than outside knowledge. Granted, having a strong vocabulary and basic scientific concepts will aid you in your reading comprehension, but applying too much outside knowledge of the passage will actually hurt your timing and distract you from questions being asked. More importantly, be aware that the ACT science section isn't measuring your recall of facts from chemistry, bio, physics, etc., but rather your ability to interpret patterns and relationships within the data and draw rational inferences in a limited amount of time. So remember, a major consideration is you will not need advanced knowledge in these subjects, but more of a basic understanding of key terms and concepts. For your convenience, we've also provided a helpful list of key scientific terms here that you should be familiar with. Because time is so limited and you're averaging less than 40 seconds per question, attempt not to become overwhelmed in understanding every nuance of the experiment. One of the biggest debates regarding the ACT science section is whether to read the questions first or the full passage. Regardless of your path, and there are pros and cons to both, the most important element is learning how to read the data. If a question guides you to a series of data and you're unable to draw patterns and inferences to the question being asked, you will only waste more time. Likewise, if you've read the entire passage and are unable to draw meaningful connections between the data, you will find yourself only going back to reread the information. We highly recommend first mastering how to quickly interpret patterns and relationships within the data given. Finding very variables in the control group and identifying what is directly or indirectly proportional. This skill set is what is most important for mastering the ACT science section, and from here you'll be able to implement strategies to improve your timing. Master tip number two is understand the overall format of the ACT science section to anticipate the questions asked. The immediate need to knows. One, the ACT science section is 40 multiple choice questions in 35 minutes. Two, it contains seven passages total, three data representation passages, three research summaries passages, and one conflicting viewpoints passage. Three, no calculators provided, and four, the math calculations are pretty basic. Data representation passages contain collective pieces of data in a beginning summary, tables, charts, and graphs, and there are no headers to categorize experiments. Research summaries passages contain descriptions of one or more related experiments. They also have a short beginning summary, tables, charts, and graphs, but do contain headers to categorize experiments, experiment one, study two, etc. Conflicting viewpoints passages represent several hypotheses or arguments that are inconsistent with one another. They are usually very wordy and do not contain contain many tables or diagrams, if at all. Conflicting viewpoints passages do contain headers to categorize arguments, theory one, theory two, etc. More importantly, and I can't emphasize this enough, the reason why you care about understanding what passage you're facing is to be able to predict the types of questions that are going to be asked with respect to each passage. Understanding the types of questions teaches you what to look for more specifically within the data, as if you're watching a movie and you're able to predict the next scene. This will honestly save you an immense amount of time and stay focused on the overall purpose of the experiment. For more information regarding specific strategies, types of questions, and practice problems for each passage, I highly encourage you to check out our Embrace Online courses found in the comments section below. Master tip number three is keep track of the information within the passage using your fingers or small notes. Going off of the different types of questions that we just mentioned, you will often be asked to connect pieces of information from different tables and graphs in connection questions. Time is very limited, so excessive writing will only hinder your ability to finish the ACT science section. To better maximize your time, attempt to use your finger or pencil or small notes to connect variables, or just use your finger as a placeholder as you're moving through the passage. Master tip number four is practice, practice, practice using relevant ACT.org materials. Take several diagnostics measuring your progress and identify areas of weakness for you to go and review. Work on your approach and your timing. Pick up a book from your local library or bookstore. Feel free to also visit embracetutoring.com if you would like a list of free sample materials. Master tip number five is skip figures as the questions will direct you if necessary. Always be prepared to use the diagram or figure based on the question asked, but memorizing a figure is not an efficient use of your time. Master tip number six is save the conflicting viewpoints passage for last. Time is your biggest factor on the ACT science section, and you want to give yourself the best possible chance to complete all 40 questions and seven passages in just 35 minutes. The one passage that typically takes two minutes longer than the other passages is the conflicting viewpoints passage. Data representation passages typically take four to five minutes to complete, research summaries passages five to six minutes to complete, and conflicting viewpoints passages six to seven minutes to complete. Remember though that the ACT test is a full composite test and you want to get as many questions right as possible. That's all for now, but remember if you're a student and would like additional practice tests or sample packets, feel free to visit embracetutoring.com. Thank you for watching and best of luck with your studies.